Welcome to Good Morning South Africa. South Africa is a land of breathtaking landscapes and a biodiversity hotspot, teeming with incredible wildlife. From the sprawling savannas, teeming with lions and elephants, to the dramatic coastlines where penguins waddle and whales breach, South Africa offers a wildlife experience unlike any other. But beyond the iconic animals that grace documentaries and postcards, there exists a whole other cast of incredible creatures, each with their own fascinating adaptations and stories. Today we're diving into the quirky and captivating world of 10 unique animals found in South Africa. Number 1. Aardvark, also known as Earth Pig. This nocturnal wanderer might look like a giant pink-eared pig with a long snout, but it's actually an insectivore, the only mammal classified as such. Their powerful claws are perfectly adapted for tearing open termite mounds, their primary food source. Their impressive snouts are not just for show. They're equipped with an excellent sense of smell that helps them locate termite mounds even underground. Aardvarks have a long, sticky tongue that extends up to two feet long, perfectly designed for slurping up termites by the thousands inside the mounds. Despite their bulky build, aardvarks are surprisingly fast runners, able to reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour over short bursts when threatened. Number 2. Aardwolf, also known as Earthwolf. Don't be fooled by the name, the aardwolf is more closely related to hyenas than wolves. These shy scavengers primarily feed on termites, using their sticky tongues to snatch them up at night. Aardwolves have excellent hearing and a strong sense of smell, which they use to locate termite mounds. Their sticky tongues are surprisingly long, reaching up to 18 inches, which allows them to efficiently extract termites from deep inside the mounds. Unlike their hyena relatives, aardwolves are solitary creatures except for breeding pairs who share a den. Aardwolves are vital to the ecosystem as they help control termite populations, which can damage vegetation if left unchecked. Number 3. Namaqua Chameleon Imagine a lizard that can change colors like a living chameleon costume party, but instead of clinging to trees, it walks the ground like a miniature dragon. This fascinating creature is the Namaqua Chameleon, a master of survival in the harsh Namib Desert. Reaching up to 25 centimeters long, this chameleon is one of the largest in southern Africa. Unlike its tree-dwelling cousins, it has a shorter tail better suited for navigating the sandy plains. But don't be fooled by its stocky build, it can run fast when danger approaches. While most chameleons use their color-changing abilities to blend in, the Namaqua chameleon takes it a step further. In the cool mornings, it turns black to soak up the sun's warmth. As the day heats up, it transforms into a lighter gray to reflect the scorching light. Sometimes it even displays both colors at once, a dramatic split personality down its back. Water is scarce in the desert, but the Namaqua chameleon is a resourceful reptilian MacGyver. It drinks dewdrops and fog condensation that clings to vegetation and rocks. It even has microscopic channels in its scales that help transport water across its body. As adults, Namaqua chameleons are solitary creatures with well-defined territories. They fiercely defend their space from intruders, puffing up their bodies, hissing and displaying their bright yellow mouths to startle threats. Females are actually larger and more aggressive than males, ruling over smaller territories. Believe it or not, this chameleon isn't just an insect muncher. It gets a surprising amount of its nutrients from plants, especially in coastal areas. Scientists think this omnivorous diet might be why they have special glands to expel excess minerals, just like plant-eating lizards. Namaqua chameleons lay clutches of eggs that incubate for about 100 days. Interestingly, females can store sperm after mating, allowing them to lay fertile eggs months later. This desert specialist is constantly adapting and evolving to ensure its survival in the harsh beauty of the Namib Desert. Number 4. Giant Bullfrog as the name suggests, this is one big amphibian. 
Growing up to 9 inches long, they're the largest frog found in South Africa and boast a powerful croak that can be heard over long distances. Giant bullfrogs are carnivorous and primarily feed on insects, small mammals, and even other frogs. Their sticky tongues and powerful jaws make them efficient predators. Giant bullfrogs are well adapted to their aquatic environment. They have smooth, moist skin that helps them absorb oxygen from the water and webbed feet for powerful swimming. These solitary frogs are most active at night when they emerge from their hiding places to hunt for prey. Number 5. Meerkats Dive into the fascinating world of the meerkat. These aren't just cute animals standing on their hind legs, they're highly social creatures with a complex lifestyle. Meerkats live in groups called packs, with anywhere from 2 to 30 individuals. These packs are like tiny societies, with everyone working together to raise pups and keep an eye out for danger. There's even a dominant pair that breeds, while other members help care for the young ones, a true team effort. Meerkats are pros at digging. Their strong claws and specialized bodies allow them to create elaborate underground burrows. These tunnels can be massive, stretching up to 5 meters, 16 feet wide, and offering a cool retreat from the hot desert sun. These curious creatures are most active during the day. You'll often see them standing upright on their hind legs, scanning the surroundings for predators. They're super vigilant and have a complex system of calls to warn each other of any threats. Meerkats are primarily insectivores, meaning they love to munch on beetles, termites, and other creepy crawlies. Their sharp eyesight and keen sense of smell help them sniff out delicious meals in the sandy soil. Meerkats are perfectly adapted to their arid homes in southern Africa. Their burrows provide shelter from the harsh climate, and their specialized bodies help them regulate their temperature. Don't underestimate the meerkats' communication skills. They have a rich vocabulary of calls that they use to share information about food sources, predators, and even social interactions. While meerkat packs cooperate most of the time, things can get competitive. Dominant females can be fierce, and fights between packs can be brutal. But even with these challenges, meerkats show remarkable social complexity, making them truly fascinating animals to observe. So the next time you see a picture of a meerkat, remember, there's more to these creatures than meets the eye. They're a testament to the power of cooperation, adaptation, and a whole lot of personality in a small package. Number 6. Pangolin. The pangolin is an incredible mammal covered in tough overlapping scales. These scales are made of keratin, the same material that makes up our hair and nails. Sadly, pangolins are the world's most trafficked mammal, prized for their scales in traditional medicine, though with no scientific basis. South Africa is home to three pangolin species, the cape pangolin, the ground pangolin, and the tree pangolin. All three species are facing threats due to poaching, and conservation efforts are underway to protect these unique animals. Pangolins are primarily insectivorous, using their long, sticky tongues to extract ants and termites from their nests. They have no teeth and rely on their strong claws to break open termite mounds. Pangolins are solitary creatures and nocturnal, spending their days curled up in burrows. Number 7. Golden Mole. Living a life underground, the Golden Mole is a burrowing marvel. Their fur isn't actually made of gold, but it has a beautiful iridescent sheen that can range from golden to brown depending on the light. You'll rarely see this shine though, as they spend their days digging tunnels in search of insects and earthworms. Golden Moles are perfectly adapted for their subterranean lifestyle. Their eyes are tiny and practically useless underground, so they rely on an exceptional sense of touch and smell to navigate their dark world. Their powerful front claws are ideal for digging, and their broad snouts help them push through the soil. Golden moles are solitary creatures, and each individual maintains a network of tunnels within their territory.
Number 8. Honey Badger Fearless and ferocious, the honey badger is a force to be reckoned with. Their thick skin, powerful jaws, and loose muscle structure allow them to take on prey much larger than themselves, earning them the nickname the Wolverine of Africa. Honey badgers are omnivores and have a varied diet that includes insects, snakes, scorpions, small mammals, and carrion. But their true passion lies in their namesake, honey. Honey badgers have a keen sense of smell and can locate beehives from long distances. Their thick skin protects them from bee stings, allowing them to raid the hive for the honey and bee larvae inside. Honey badgers are solitary creatures and highly territorial. They are known for their aggressive behavior and will fight anything that enters their territory, including lions and hyenas. Number 9. Cape Genet. Imagine a creature that blends the agility of a cat with the stealth of a shadow. This is the Cape Genet, a captivating carnivore that prowls the nighttime forests of South Africa. Thankfully, unlike many fascinating animals, the Cape Genet thrives. Dressed in a coat of ash gray adorned with irregular brown spots and a sleek black stripe down its back, the Cape Genet is a marvel of nighttime camouflage. Look closely and you'll see a charming white muzzle and even whiter markings below its eyes. Its bushy tail, sporting black and white bands, adds a touch of flair to this nocturnal fashionista. By day, the Cape Genet seeks refuge in the high branches of trees, rock overhangs, or cozy caves. But come nightfall, this master of disguise transforms into a skilled hunter. With a combination of impressive speed and silent stalking, it darts through the undergrowth a blur of motion punctuated by moments of stillness. While their exact social lives remain a bit of a mystery, Cape Genets likely use scent to communicate. They mark their territory with secretions from special glands, keeping others informed of their presence. The Cape Genet is an opportunistic eater, feasting on a variety of prey. Rodents like VLI rats and rock mice are high on the menu, but they'll also snatch up insects, birds, and even the occasional lizard. Interestingly, they may even consume grass, perhaps to aid digestion or expel toxins. During the warm summer months, Cape Genes raise their young. After a gestation period of roughly 70 days, two tiny kits emerge, weighing a mere 70 grams each. Sheltered in a den within a hollow tree or amongst boulders, the young quickly develop their senses and hunting skills, becoming independent by around seven months old. Thankfully, the Cape Genet faces no major threats. These fascinating creatures are even quite common and can be found in numerous protected areas throughout South Africa. So, the next time you find yourself in the South African night, keep an eye out for a flash of movement. It might just be the Cape Genet, a living testament to the beauty and diversity of nature. Number 10. Bat-Eared Fox Imagine a fox with ears that rival a dinner plate. Meet the Bat-Eared Fox, a creature that's not just adorable but also a master of survival in the harsh African savanna. Those enormous ears aren't just for show, they help the Bat-Eared Fox radiate heat, staying cool under the scorching sun. They're also like satellite dishes, pinpointing the location of its favorite meal, termites. Unlike most foxes that hunt mice and rabbits, the bat-eared fox is an insectivore. It has a special fondness for harvester termites, munching on them by the hundreds every night. Their unique teeth and powerful jaws are perfectly designed for this crunchy diet. Bat-eared foxes are surprisingly social. They live in family groups with parents and kids working together. Dads are the ultimate stay-at-home dads raising the young while moms go out hunting. Pups learn to catch termites by watching their parents, becoming experts in this specialized skill. While they may not be chatty, bat-eared foxes have a complex communication system. Tail wags, ear positions, and even stares all have specific meanings. They can even recognize each other from up to 30 meters away. These unique foxes play a crucial role in keeping the ecosystem healthy. 
By controlling termite populations, they prevent them from becoming destructive pests. The bat-eared fox is a fascinating creature with a unique lifestyle. With its amazing adaptations and social behavior, it's a true wonder of the African savanna.